We're back from the No Name Nationals and we're just going to start to get things back and ready. I have antifreeze to put back in this and some stickers I'll show you in a minute. They're talking back down in the 20s this weekend. Got to get that water draining and get some antifreeze in here. I did collect a lot of stickers down there. I'll show you what I do with them. People have been sending me stickers throughout time and I'll show you I'll show you where they where they ended up. It's not as bad as you think. Come on. Line them up. They're lined up. How far do we race? So if you wonder what happened, if you gave me a sticker or something like that, I mean, as long as you didn't give me a, a four foot by four foot sticker or banner or something like that, but you know, the average little stickers, look at the ceiling. Uh, we got different stickers up there from different garages. And this one right here is really cool. I like this idea. It's a magnet. So I'll put that one there. Got to keep this one away from Adam's Who's Your Garage channel because kind of looks a lot like his colors. So I'll put this one here. Like that. All right, the Hoopty Barn. Coronet. By the way, just drive it. These guys do what they say, man. 1,100 miles in a, shall we say, a patinaed 68 Fairlane. Over 1,100 miles fighting oil pressure. And we got right up here, I'll put just Mopar Joe right here. That's his the challenger on his channel you can go to his channel and see that challenger of course we got the who's your garage the bad tree i just love the color scheme on the bad tree one that's just awesome the gas tap dust or bust this is a really cool guy i like him um dust devil iron horse what else we got here clint street machine now I'll, I'll underline these guys with this Mr. Rodders This would be Dallas AHRA Some people have made a a, a board and they put people's stickers on them. This is my board. I don't really put stickers on the outside of drag truck. I really want to keep the farm truck look. We pulled it off a farm in the backfield. We're really trying to keep the, that, that look and appearance to it. So why it's still got the steelies on it with the, with the poverty caps. But um, this, is, this is my board here. But it's looking really nice underneath here and colorful. I'll be protected now. See if I can do this without a funnel.
it's supposed to do. I have something to share with you. The same guy who sent me these Champion spark plugs, brand new in the box even. The same guy who sent me those after some fun with some videos that we had and joking around about MGKs and champions and auto lights and whatever. Champions. It's a delicate subject and not just because they're made of porcelain. I posted on my video if you want to go a way back, you'll find them. He gives me this shirt after he beats me in the bracket final. Champions don't run champions, just Mopar Joe. I got a question for you, Joe, and I'm expecting you to reply. You gave this to me after you beat me in the champion. What if I'd have still got this shirt if I'd have won that round? A viewer said, for that $5 fan we put on here, that clutch fan, place of the direct fan, I like what he said. It's, it's saving you money every time you turn the key. Never thought of it that way, but it's true. I do have to admit, and I don't say this with like um, a feeling of accomplishment, but I do have to say I took a lot of lives while I was at Missouri. Um, I know it makes me sound really, really bad, but I'll show you. I'll show them, show them all to you. Let me do a moment of silence for all them. One thing that I didn't talk about while I was down there is uh, this van in the bracket race ran so consistent. I don't know if any, nobody mentioned this or paid any attention to it, I don't think, but I think I made was it six or seven passes in elimination? Six, I think. And my dial-in didn't change one time. It's because the van was running within a couple of hundreds on every on every pass. I mean, if you notice two things, like the flag was blowing, so we had wind, and we know how vans catch wind. Test of two, test of two. You will be in lanes one and two. Time trials, you'll also be in lanes one and two. But still, the van ran, I think, within four hundredths of a second on every run of within within my target. So the the, the van was just dead dead consistent in the, in the in the bracket run. I mean, it just didn't matter what was going on. It just it turned the number. It it wasn't the the van's fault. Is you know, it was my fault I didn't win at all because the van was doing its job. I give Adam the credit for that from the Hoosier Garage. The reason why I give Adam the credit for that is I spent time trying to make sure that this was timed and tuned and performing properly for our heads up race with him. Alright, the official Dodge Van call. So that grudge race helped me in the bracket race. Well, it's up to temp. And uh, the radiator looks full, so let's take her for a little run and circulate all that antifreeze together. We don't pick cotton, but we sure pick the corn. 
Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, no, we really do. 